Trump wins the presidency. And the Trump haters, the Hillary drones, are freaking out. Oh, he's not my president. They're threatening to move to Canada. Blah, blah, blah. Rosie O'Donnell transitioning into a man. Check out my video right there. And all these celebrities are hating Trump and hating Trump and loving Obama and loving Hillary. This isn't a problem because I'm never going to bump into these people. Okay? The problem is this. You, I, everybody, we all have a couple of these or sometimes ten of these in our family. These Hillary drones, these freaks of nature, these lunatics that think they know something. They think they're smart. They think they know something. Sorry, Becky. Yeah, their lives are over because this master criminal Hillary did not get elected. Now, I've been sitting here for eight years, a decade, pointing this thing out. Okay, hello. Michelle Obama is a man. Light has been bouncing off this and entering my eyeball for a decade. Here's my attitude. I lived through the past eight years of Obama. You are going to have to live through the next eight years of Trump. And I'm going to make those eight years extra special. And here's how. Number one. At all times, I will be wearing this tank top under my shirt. It's not my style, but it serves a purpose. It's Donald Trump leading a squadron of F-22s into battle. It combines the military and Trump, two things liberals hate. Also, I will go out of my way to borrow money from libtards so I can pay them back in Donald Trump's silver coinage. Also, at all times, you should keep a talking Trump pen concealed in your pocket. So at the grocery store, when you bump into a libtard, you just reach in your pocket, mid-conversation, mid you reach in and just click it. And they'll hear, drain the swamp, make America great again, you're fired. Uh, did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. What did you hear? Oh, I thought I heard Trump's voice. Oh, really? What are you hearing voices now? What are you, crazy? What are you, conspiracy theorists? But you might not want to wait till you see them at the grocery store. So here's a way to tick off everybody with an eye shot. You don't have to do anything. You just get the haircut. Then you just walk around, okay? You, you literally are completely unaware of it, but you are spreading misery amongst Trump haters. You are causing them to suffer the way you've suffered for the past eight years. Now, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving provides a unique opportunity to torment Lenore and Becky, okay? Here they are melting down because Hillary lost. Now, they're freaking out because their world ended when Hillary got clobbered. She, she cheated, but she didn't cheat enough, okay? So now Trump's coming in. And what happens? You can't un ignore uh, Lenore and Becky forever because at Thanksgiving, you have to hang out with them. So they ring your doorbell. What do you do? You greet them with a big smile and you usher them in through the hall, through the foyer, past the little table in the foyer with this, with this on it. They're not going to notice really, but their subconscious mind will register this. Now... You bring them into the living room. Thanksgiving dinner is not quite ready yet, but while they're waiting, would they like some coffee? You go to get the coffee and your cat peeks over the couch. All right? And then your cat scampers off. And they're thinking, they don't have time to gather everyone's attention and, and interrogate the cat. The cat's gone. So now they're at the dinner table, Thanksgiving dinner. They take their napkin out of the napkin ring and they raise it to wipe their mouth and they see this. Okay? Now they're thrilled because they finally have hard evidence that you're crazy. So, what do they do? They pull their fellow libtards into your bathroom and they lock themselves in for a secret libtard meeting about you. I, I always thought he was crazy. I'm telling you, he's not just pretending. He is genuinely crazy. I, she's tried everything with him. I, he talked about President Obama. He thought President Obama was from a different country and had forged identification. Yeah, he thought his birth certificate was fake. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him, but I think she definitely needs to get help before he goes off the rails and tries to, uh, I don't know what, tries to blow up a, a, an office building. I don't know. Now, folks, this is key. They're going to be in there talking about you for some time. You have to prepare this in advance, way up high on the wall near the ceiling, okay? You have to prepare in advance before anyone gets to your house, but towards the end of their conversation, of their meeting, one of them is going to glance up and notice this staring back down at them okay at this point they have all the confirmation they need that you are certifiably crazy and they will begin to get very anxious they will begin to be scared now while they're in the bathroom talking about you you're in the kitchen pulling a special pumpkin pie out of the oven you see these creases and crevices in the surface of the pie so now everybody's back at the table 
and you set down the pumpkin pie on the table and then you freeze and you just stare at the pie. Why? Because the pie has some markings in it and it could, this is a little overkill here, but you just have to gently make a couple marks for an eyes and a couple, one mark that could be a mouth and maybe do a nose. Okay, the nose is optional, but you stare at it and you lean closer to it. You don't, if anyone comes near it with a, with a knife and tries to cut a piece for themselves, you, you shoo them away, you swat, swat them away. And then you become overwhelmed with emotion and you announce that this, you've been praying for this moment for months and God has finally, the Lord has finally given you a sign that he appreciates your efforts in getting Donald Trump elected president. Now keep in mind, folks, it's been 10 years of Obama, 10 years of Michelle, this fake president with fake ID, and Michelle on Ellen, and her thing, her wang, doing the oops upside your head. Okay, for 10 freaking years. And they've been calling me crazy. You're crazy. You're seeing things. You're hallucinating. You're... Folks, I, I may not be the most, you know, uh, organized person, but I have better things to do than imagine phantom penises attached to the first lady. Okay? Now, Becky and Lenore are halfway through Thanksgiving dinner when you're freaking out over a Donald Trump's face in a pie. Okay? Wait for the look of fear on their face. Wait for the look of genuine fear. Like, what is he going to do next? At this point, you cry tears of joy. You break into tears. And you think that's extreme? Well, if you think that's extreme, have it the first lady with a penis. So, you start sobbing, and then you leap up from the table and just run away. You run away into another room, and you dive onto the couch and curl up in a, in a ball and start weeping. Eventually, they will send someone to find you. When, they, when that envoy reaches you in the other room, you should be crying your eyes out, clutching this. And then just don't come out of that room for the rest of the night. Okay, now it's Thanksgiving, dinner's over, you're still in there crying, you won't come out. All right, eventually they have to leave your house. Okay, and it's nighttime by now. So they all leave, they get out of the front porch, they walk down the steps, they're walking along the path, they walk out to the curb, they make it over to their car, they're fumbling around in the dark for their keys, they unlock their car, they get in the car, they start the engine, they hear something in the back seat, they turn around, and then you jump out, screaming, drain the swamp, lock her up, CNN sucks, wearing your Donald Trump paper mask. If you follow my instructions here, you probably won't see them next Thanksgiving. Now, as for Michelle, why has her Jimmy been flapping in the breeze for 10 years? Well, I answer that question here. It's, she's got a fake family. I show you right here in my video, Michelle Obama cannot remember what year her own wedding happened. Because the whole family, the Obamas, are phony. You can catch that right here at my channel. Remember to subscribe. Barry Sotoro channel. And folks, happy Thanksgiving. So nice seeing you, Lenore. Yeah, see you next Thanksgiving.